What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23, coming to you today with some Destiny news. Uh, today is Thursday, and as usual, Bungie has released their weekly update. So today, uh, Deej basically tells us we are taking the final steps to making Destiny 1.1.1 a reality. And they've been talking about it for a while, blah blah blah. Um, basically, they're still talking about hoping to have the heavy ammo bug fixed when 1.1.1 comes out. And they're going to do the weapon updates, obviously. And then we were also getting the reputation uh, panel added into our inventory. If you guys saw last week, they're basically giving you a little spot where you can click next to your crucible marks where it's going to show you what your actual reputation is with all your factions and Eris and Vanguard and all that stuff. And that's something that, quite honestly, should have been in the game a long time ago. But they're actually putting something cool in, so I'm going to try not to be, a, not to be too critical in this update. Um, not really much other news. The big thing this week is they are adding a matchmaking for the weekly heroic strike. Now this is cool because this is something that the community has been asking for mm, since probably September. So you know they just took them took them about five months to get this in the game, and so basically now you're going to have matchmaking for your weekly heroic strikes, which is cool. Now on one end though, you're no longer going to be able to solo the weekly strike, so. You won't be seeing me doing any more solo videos for any of these weekly strikes. And they basically said that they wanted these to be a challenge for a while. And they wanted people to have teams that, you know, they, they could trust and they could know. And they're basically trying to make it sound again as if, you know, randoms don't know how to play together. Like, we don't know how to use mics and team up and, and play with other people in the game. Which is part of the point of Destiny is to meet new people, play with new people. And I understand that mentality for the raid. That's why, you know, I've been saying all along, I wanted matchmaking for the Nightfall and for the Weekly Heroic because I don't have a lot of friends that play Destiny and it's hard for me to get a group. But I understand not having that for the raid because the raid is a totally different animal. Though I still think they need to implement something for raids, like in the tower having an LFG place or something like that because, you know, randoms can get together and run a raid just fine. But they said they wanted the Weekly Heroics to be a challenge. And, you know, that pushed us and our friends, and then they observed it. They don't demand the same cooperation of a pre-made group, so they're, you know, basically responding to the community and letting us have, have that matchmaking, finally. Unfortunately, they're not allowing this for the Nightfall Strike yet. Uh, they said, since players are kicked to orbit on a wipe, they want people to be able to preserve their group so they can give it another go. And this, to me, just highlights part of the problem that Bungie's having with this game so far. It's like, on one hand, they do listen and they give us something, but then on the other hand, it's like they're, they're still clinging on to that, no, 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 this is how we want you to play. There's absolutely no reason for them to not allow us to do matchmaking for Nightfall. Nightfalls are just the same strikes, and if you want to play with your put-together group, then fine. You can still do that. You can get your two buddies and make your three-man pre-made team. Having matchmaking is not going to disrupt that at all. So again, I, another kind of head scratcher from Bungie, basically, you know, telling us that hey, here we're going to give you guys just a little little tidbit to tease you, but we're not going to give you the whole package that we really should, and we're going to hold that back. And I'm going to continue to, you know, voice my opinion on that. I'm, you know, I'm sorry if I'm a bit critical of that, but it's just these are basic things that should have been implemented in the game quite a long time ago. There's no reason matchmaking should have not been added in for the weekly and the nightfall strike, regardless of what they say. <laughs> um, one other point they did make is that Zur will, after the 1.1 update, Zur is going to continue to have, always have engrams apparently now, it's something they're changing with him. Uh, the Iron Banner will work as previously promised. I'm not sure what that means, because the Iron Banner I think worked pretty good. Um, they s claim that there's going to be a greater variety of maps in the rotation and a couple of new bounties that will give you more control over which weapons you can use. So that is also pretty good news. And they say that's going... They were hoping to implement that before the current event, but apparently they couldn't. So I guess they were too busy fixing cheese spots and they didn't put important things in the game, but whatever. Uh, strikes and Crucible maps are going to be less likely to repeat themselves. So that that's good. We'll see if they can actually get that implemented because that's it's something that's been a problem for a long time. So... Nice to see there are at least a few things in this update that um, they are going to try to take care of some in-game problems we've been having with programming, with strike playlists, and also the Crucible playlists. Anyways, guys, that's it for the weekly update. Stay tuned tonight for my Zer video, and I will see you guys again next time.